Stan Wawrinka. Stan Eilers, Stan Wawrinka is a Swiss professional tennis player. He reached a career high association of tennis professionals world number three singles ranking for the first time on January 27, 2014. His career highlights include three Grand Slam titles at the 2014 Australian Open. The 2015 French Open and 2016 US Open, where he defeated the world number one player in the final on all three occasions, and an ATP World Tour Masters 1000 title at the Monte Carlo Masters in 2014, as well as three other finals at 2008 Rome, 2013 Madrid, and 2017 Indian Wells. Warinka considers clay his best and favorite surface in his serve, and backhand his best shots. John McEnroe once said that Warinka has one of the most powerful backhands ever, and in 2009 described him as having the best one-handed backhand in the game. He has been described by The Economist as tennis great latecomer, due to finding success later in his career. Prior to the 2014 French Open, he requested, and the ATP granted a formal change in his name from Stan Eilers Warinka to Stan Warinka, stating that he plans to use the abbreviated name in tournament draws and press conferences. Tennis career Warinka started playing tennis at the age of eight. He played tennis once a week until he was 11 years old, when he started practice three times a week. Warinka stopped attending regular schooling at age 15 to focus full-time on tennis. However, he continued his schooling by distance education with the French organization CNED, which offered him greater flexibility. Warinka turned professional in 2002 at the age of 17. He was coached from age 8 until June 2010 by Dmitry Zavialov. Warinka is a three-time Grand Slam tournament winner, Olympic champion, and Davis Cup champion for his country. He achieved a top 10 ranking by the ATP for the first time on 12 May 2008, and first reached a career peak of world number 3 on 27 January 2014. At the same time as he became the Swiss number one, he has reached three Grand Slam singles finals in his career to date, winning all three, the 2014 Australian Open, the 2015 French Open and the 2016 US Open. Each time he defeated the reigning world number one in the championship match, in doubles, and team tennis for Switzerland, he has won a gold medal in the men's doubles event at the 2008 Summer Olympics, partnering with Roger Federer, and the Davis Cup in 2014. He played in the longest doubles match in history at the 2013 Davis Cup, in a tie against the Czech Republic, partnering with Marco Cialudinelli. Juniors Warinka started playing international junior events at age 14 and entered the satellite circuit the following year. He compiled an outstanding junior career, winning the Junior French Open in 2003 and reaching as high as number 7 in the Junior World Rankings in June 2003. In 2002 Warinka became professional. In 2003 he had his first steps on the tour and ended the year as the world number 169. 2004. In the 11th of July, at G-Stard, Stan progressed into his first ever career final, in doubles, with Mark Rossett as his partner. The Swiss pair lost in the final to Leander Pays and David Rikl. That year Warinka had his Davis Cup debut with the Swiss national team. Warinka lost his first match, in the first round, against Victor Hanescu in a dead rubber. 
Switzerland won the tie 3-2 against Romania and progressed into the World Group quarter-finals. He finished the year as the number 162 in the world rankings. 2005 Warink had his Grand Slam debut at the French Open. He won against 22nd seed and Olympic gold medalist Nicolas Massou in the first round, in four sets. In the second round, Warinka came from two sets down to defeat James Blake. His run ended in the third round, losing in four sets, to the eventual runner-up Mariano Puerta. After the French Open, Warinka had his first Wimbledon experience, but lost in the first round to Fabrice Santoro, in four sets. Warink had his first singles final at the Swiss Open, but lost to Gaston Gordio. At the US Open, Warink defeated Rajiv Ram and Mariano Puerta in five sets before losing in the third round to Nicolas Massu. By the end of 2005, he hovered just inside the top 50. 2006 in July, Stan Isla's Warinka won his first ATP title at the Croatia Open UMAG, when his opponent in the final, Novak Djokovic, retired through fatigue. In October, Warinka reached a then career high ranking of world number 29. 2007 in the Australian Open, Warinka reached the third round to be beaten by second seed Rafael Nadal, losing in Melbourne in straight sets. He showed some impressive backhand skills, but was unable to deal with Nadal's heavy game. He suffered a three-month setback, tearing a tendon in his right knee while practicing for the Swiss Davis Cup team's tie against Spain. In February, in the French Open, Warinka pushed seventh seed Ivan Lubasic to four sets in the second round. He also claimed wins over Guillermo Canes and Juan Ignacio Cella en route to a meeting with Rafael Nadal in the final of the Mercedes Cup in Stuttgart in July. Nadal defeated Warinka in straight sets. In the US Open, Warinka reached the fourth round a stage he had never reached previously in a Grand Slam event, notably defeating 25th seed Marat Safin in straight sets in the second round. In the fourth round, he was ousted by Juan Ignacio Cella in five sets. 2008 Top 10 Debut Olympic Gold in Doubles By reaching the final of the Masters Series event in Rome, Warinka entered the top 10 for the first time. He lost in the final to Novak Djokovic, despite taking the opening set. In the Olympics, Warinka teamed with Roger Federer in men's doubles. They beat the favored Americans Bob and Mike Bryan in the semi-finals in straight sets, then in the final, defeated Simon Aspelin and Thomas Johansson of Sweden in four sets to win the gold medal. Warinka reached the fourth round of the US Open, where British player Andy Murray defeated him in straight sets. 2009 Warinka lost to Rafael Nadal in the fourth round at the Miami Masters in Key Biscayne. Nadal came from behind in both sets to beat Warinka in two tie breaks. The match lasted for two hours and 42 minutes. At the Monte Carlo Masters, Warinka defeated world number two Roger Federer in straight sets, an upset which halted the chance of a fourth straight Nadal Federer final in Monte Carlo. At the French Open, Warinka defeated Nicolas de Vilder in five sets and Nicolas Massu in straight sets. He lost to Nikolai Davidenko in the third round in four sets. At Wimbledon, in the third round he defeated 21-year-old Jesse Levine, who had upset Mara Safin in the first round. The Sunday Times reviewed Warinka's performance in the match by opining that he is a strange player, clearly talented, but short of match fitness. 
and as clumsy on court as Federer is graceful. Warinka was defeated by Andy Murray in five sets. In the fourth round, the match was also a debut usage of the new roof on center court, and was the latest match at Wimbledon, lasting until 2237 GMT. Warinka played in the Davis Cup tie with Italy, and won in his first match against Andrea Seppi in straight sets. 2010 Warinka started his 2010 season by reaching the final of the Chennai Open, losing to Marin Silic in two tie breaks. This was Warinka's fifth consecutive loss in an ATP final. He reached the third round at the Australian Open, losing to Silic again. Warinka returned to the ATP Tour at the Sony Ericsson Open after his wife gave birth to their daughter. He defeated Kevin Anderson, before losing to Mikhail Eugeny in the third round. He started his clay court season in Casablanca at the 2010 Grand Prix Hassan II. After receiving a first-round bye, he defeated Slovakian qualifier Martin Klizan in the second round, in the quarter-finals. He easily defeated Volkard Raider El Amrani in straight sets. In the semi-finals, he defeated Italian Potito Staris in three sets to advance to his second ATP final of 2010. In the final, he defeated Romanian Victor Hanescu in straight sets to win his second ATP tournament. With this tournament win, he snapped a five-match losing streak in ATP finals and a three-and-a-half-year title drought. It was also the first professional singles final Warinka won, as his previous ATP victory occurred due to a retirement. Warinka became the 13th seed at the Monte Carlo Masters and defeated Victor Hanescu in the first round in a rematch of the Casablanca final. He then beat Latvian Ernest Skulbus to advance to the third round. He was defeated by Novak Djokovic. Warinka reached the quarterfinals in Rome, losing to Rafael Nadal, and the semi-finals in Belgrade, losing to John Isner. At the French Open, where he was the 20th seed, he reached the fourth round without dropping a set, defeating Jan Hajek in the first round. In the second round, he defeated German Andreas Beck. And in the third round, he beat Italian Fabio Fognini, before losing to Roger Federer in the fourth round, after an unsuccessful grass season, where he lost in the first round of Wimbledon. Warinka separated from his coach since childhood, and hired Peter Lundgren. The partnership with Lundgren showed its benefits in the US Open where Warinka reached the quarter-finals, beating fourth seed Andy Murray along the way. 2011 Warinka started off 2011 in impressive fashion, defeating world number 6 Tomas Berdic along the way to claiming the Chennai Open crown. Warinka beat Xavier Malice in the final in three sets. He advanced to the quarter-finals of the 2011 Australian Open. After defeating Andy Roddick in three sets to set up an all-Swiss quarter-final with Roger Federer, which he lost in straight sets, he also came back from two sets and a breakdown to defeat Joe Wilfried Songer in the third round of the French Open, before being defeated by Federer once more. Warinka was defeated by Simone Bolelli in the second round of Wimbledon and Donald Young at the same stage of the US Open. In September, Warinka announced that he had parted ways with Lundgren. He played the rest of the season without a coach. At the Swiss Indoors tournament, Warinka made it to the semi-finals after defeating Florian Mayer in the quarter-finals. In an all-Swiss semi-final, he was defeated by Roger Federer in straight sets. 2012 Warinka started the season in Chennai, where he made the quarter-finals, before being defeated by Go Soadar. At the Australian Open, he made it to the third round 
defeating Benoit Per and Marcos Bagdatis, before being eliminated by Nicolas Almagro. In his Davis Cup tie against Marty Fish in February, he lost in five sets. Later in February, he traveled to Buenos Aires and Acapulco, where he made to the semi-finals before losing again to Almagro and Fernando Verdasco, respectively. In Monte Carlo, he defeated three Spaniards, Feliciano Lopez, Pablo Andujar, and Almagro, making it to the quarterfinals before succumbing to another Spaniard, world number two at the time, Rafael Nadal, the eventual champion. In doubles, he teamed with Victor Troitsky, and they made it to the quarterfinals. In Estoril, he made it to the semi-finals, but was defeated by Juan Martin del Potro. Warinka made the fourth round of the French Open after defeating Flavio Cipolla, Andrew Ha, and Jill Simon. He was defeated by Joe Wilfried Songer in the fourth round, once again coming from two sets down to take the match into a fifth set and recovering a 4-1 deficit in the decider before Songer finally prevailed. Warinka then had a series of first-round exits at Wimbledon, G-Start, and in the Summer Olympics, where he lost to the eventual gold medalist Andy Murray. He was the flag-bearer of Switzerland during the Summer Olympics Parade of Nations. He teamed with Roger Federer again in doubles at the Olympics but they were eliminated in the second round. He made the semi-finals of the Masters 1000 event in Cincinnati, before he was defeated by Federer, the eventual champion. Warinka again also played doubles with Yarko Nieminen, and they were eliminated in the second round. At the US Open, Warinka reached the fourth round but was forced to retire in his match against second seed Novak Djokovic due to illness. 2013 – Breakthrough Dot. Warinka teamed with Frenchman Benoit Paire to win the doubles title at the Chennai Open against the German team of André Bergamon and Martin Emmerich. At the Australian Open, he made it to the fourth round. He lost a grueling five-set thriller against Novak Djokovic which lasted just over five hours, finally losing in the 22nd game of the fifth set. It definitely ranks right at the top, said Djokovic, after his victory over the Swiss. One of the longest, most interesting, and most exciting matches I have played in my career. In the first round of the Davis Cup on 2 February 2013, he played the longest ATP doubles match in history. He and Marco Cialudinelli were defeated by Lucas Rossol and Tomas Berdic of the Czech Republic in 7 hours and 2 minutes, including a 46-game long final set. The match was the second longest ATP match ever. Warinka made it to the final of the Copa Claro in Buenos Aires, losing to David Ferrer in that final. Dot. Warinka won the fourth title of his career at the Portugal Open, where he defeated the top seed and world number four David Ferrer. This was his first title since January 2011. In the Madrid Masters, Warinka's run of success continued, with a three-set win over Joe Wilfried Songer in the quarterfinals. The following day, he defeated Tomas Berdic also in three sets to advance to his second Masters 1000 final against Rafael Nadal. With this victory, he also re-entered the top 10 at number 10 and stayed inside the top 10 ever since. He lost the final in straight sets. He made it to the quarterfinals of the French Open for the first time after recovering from two sets down to beat Richard Gasquet in the fourth round but subsequently lost to defending and seven-time champion Rafael Nadal in straight sets. He started the grass court season at the top shelf open in S. Hartogen Bosch and made it to the final, where he lost to grass court specialist Nicolas Mahut at Wimbledon. He lost in the first round to Leighton Hewitt. In the US Open, Warinka reached his first Grand Slam semi-final, losing to top seed Novak Djokovic. 
again in five tightly contested sets. Previously, he had defeated world number five Tomas Berdic in four sets in the fourth round and world number three, and defending champion Andy Murray in straight sets in the quarterfinals. After his Grand Slam breakthrough, Warinka continued to display solid form, reaching the semi-finals in Kuala Lumpur, where he lost to Julian Bennett II, and quarter-finals of Masters 1000 tournaments in Shanghai and Paris, losing to Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic, respectively. Warinka went to the ATP World Tour Finals for the first time in his career. He made an impact on the tournament, beating Tomas Berdic and David Ferrer in round-robin matches. Although he lost to Rafael Nadal in straight sets for the twelfth time in his career, both sets were finished in tight tie-breaks, and the Swiss actually won more points in the match. Warinka advanced in second place to the semi-finals, where he met Novak Djokovic and lost to him for the fourth time that year. 2014 First Australian Open, Masters and Davis Cup titles, rise to number 3. Warinka began his ninth season on the ATP World Tour with a win at the Chennai Open in India, winning this tournament for the second time in his career, defeating Edouard Roger Vasselin in the final in straight sets. At the Australian Open, Warinka beat Andre Golubev and Alejandro Fola in the first two rounds, then had a walkover. When Vasek Paspizil pulled out of their third round match, followed by a straight set win over Tommy Robredo, Warinka's quarter final opponent was Novak Djokovic, and this time Warinka won in five sets, taking the deciding fifth set 9 to 7 after being a breakdown. The victory ended a 14-match losing streak against the three-time reigning champion. He then faced off against another first-time Australian Open semi-finalist, Thomas Burdic, winning the match in four tight sets. In the ensuing final, he defeated world number one Rafael Nadal in four sets, thus denying Nadal's attempt for the distinction of being the only active men's tennis player to hold at least two titles at each of the four Grand Slam tournaments. The victory was his first win over Nadal in 13 attempts, and also made him the first man since Sergi Bruguera in 1993 to beat both of the top two seeds en route to a Grand Slam title. This was also only the second time since 2005 that a player outside of the Big Four had won a Grand Slam title, and the first since Juan Martin Del Potro won the US Open in 2009. In addition, Warinka became the first player to defeat both Nadal and Djokovic in a single Grand Slam tournament. He is also the second Swiss man to win a Grand Slam singles title after Federer, due to his championship victory at the Australian Open. Warinka for the first time in his career cracked into the top five, becoming world number three, and the top-ranked Swiss player in the world ahead of Federer for the first time, playing for Switzerland in the first round of the Davis Cup against Serbia. He defeated Dusan Lajovic in four sets in the second rubber. Switzerland went on to win the tie 3-2 to reach their first Davis Cup quarter-final since 2004. After a one-month break, he next played at the BNP Paribas Open in Indian Wells as the third seed. In his opening round, he overcame Ivo Karlovic in straight sets. In the third round, he defeated Andreas Seppi dropping only two games. In the fourth round, his 13-match winning streak from the start of the season came to an end against Kevin Anderson. At the Miami Masters, he made it to the fourth round after defeating Daniel Gimino Trava and Edouard Roger Vasselin, before losing to an inform Alexander Dolgopolov. Warinka returned to Switzerland's Davis Cup team for their quarter final against Kazakhstan. Warinka was beaten in his first match by Andre Golubev, then he and Federer lost their doubles match to Golubev and Alexander Nedovsov. However, 
Warinka then came from a set down to beat Kikushkin and level the match again. Federer won the deciding rubber to send Switzerland to the semi-finals, where they would play Italy at the Monte Carlo Masters. Warinka crushed Marin Silic in the second round, losing only two games in the process. He then received a walkover in the third round to Nicolas Almagro. In the quarter-final, Warinka defeated Milos Raonic in straight sets to secure his second semi-final appearance in the Principality. Warinka defeated David Ferrer in the semi-finals to become one of the few players to reach the finals of all three Masters tournament on clay. The stage was set for the first All-Swiss final in 14 years, as he would take on his friend Roger Federer. In the first set, Federer secured an early break and prevented any chances of Warinka breaking and closed out the opener. However, Warinka fought back to take a close second set in a tie break, and after that, Warinka gained the momentum. He did not relinquish his advantage, winning his first Masters 1000 title on his third attempt. In doing so, Warinka took over the top spot in the race to London. Thus far, Warinka had defeated Djokovic, Nadal, and Federer that season, whom he had a 2-15, 0-12, and 1-13 record respectively. Coming into the 2014 season, However, Warinka had less success in his next two tournaments, losing in the second round in Madrid to Dominic Thiem and the third round of Rome to Tommy Haas. Warinka then suffered a first-round defeat to Guillermo Garcia Lopez in the French Open. Later that month, Warinka participated in the Aegon Championships, knocking out Marcos Bagdatis. Sam Querrey, and Marinko Matosovic without dropping a set, before losing to eventual champion Grigor Dimitrov in the semi-finals. Warinka was seeded fifth for Wimbledon due to the tournament's seeding process being a combination of world ranking and recent grass court form, meaning Warinka was seeded lower than world number five Andy Murray and world number for Roger Federer as they had won the title the previous two seasons. Warinka proceeded to have his best ever run at the tournament, reaching the quarterfinals for the first time, dropping just one set in the process. He faced Federer in the first All-Swiss men's quarterfinal in Wimbledon history, losing in four close sets. Warinka was seeded third for the US Open due to Nadal's withdrawal. He reached his fifth Grand Slam quarterfinal from the last seven tournaments, defeating Tommy Robredo in four sets in the fourth round. Having survived set points in the third set tiebreaker, he was eventually beaten by finalist Kei Nishikori in five sets. Warinka lost in early round matches at three consecutive tournaments in October. At the Japan Open Tennis Championships, he was seeded first but was defeated in the first round in straight sets by Tatsuma Ito of Japan, then ranked number 103 on the ATP Tour. The following week at the Shanghai Rolex Masters Tournament, he was seeded fourth, but was defeated in three sets by unseeded Jill Simon in the second round. After having had a bye in the first round, he was up a break in the third set against Simon but won only one of the final five games. At the time, Warinka was ranked number four, and Simon number 29 on the ATP rankings. In Basel, he was beaten in the first round by Mikhail Kokushkin in three sets. At the Paris Masters 1000, Warinka recorded his first win since the US Open against Dominic Thiem. However, he fell in three tight sets to Kevin Anderson in Indiana the next round. Warink had a good run in the ATP World Tour Finals, where he beat Tomas Berdic and Marin Silic. He lost to Djokovic in the next round robin match, but progressed to the semi-finals. In the semi-finals, he faced world number two Roger Federer and after two hours he had four match points, but failed to convert any of them, and lost in three sets. After the match, reports emerged that Federer 
and Warinka had a heated discussion lasting for 10 minutes in the gym at the O2. After officials reportedly told them to resolve their differences after a flare-up in the tunnel, the spat was reportedly caused by Merka Federer's calling Warinka a crybaby. The pair appeared as friends though when they met for the Davis Cup final. In the final against France, Warinka gave his country the perfect start by defeating Joe Wilfried Songer in four sets. Warinka then teamed up with Federer to win the doubles rubber and give Switzerland a 2-1 lead going into the final day. The match ended a sequence of four doubles rubbers losses for the pair, and it was their first win together on clay. Warinka did not play on the final day, as Federer sealed the tie by beating Gasquet in straight sets for Switzerland's first Davis Cup title. With the win, Warinka became the first player since Andre Agassi in 1992 to win his first Grand Slam title and first Davis Cup in the same season. 2015 French Open title in January, Warinka was crowned champion of the Chennai Open for the third time running, winning against Slovenian player Algis Bedin in the final, after a win against world number 22, David Goffin. At the Australian Open he reached the semi-finals again by beating Kei Nishikori in straight sets. In his semi-final, Warinka lost to Novak Djokovic in five sets bringing to an end his Australian Open title defence. As a result of failing to defend his title, Warinka dropped from world number 4 in the world rankings pre-tournament to world number 9 post-tournament. On February 15, he prevailed over Tomas Berdic in three sets to win the title at the ABN AMRO World Tennis Tournament. He next competed at the Open 13 in Marseille where he reached the quarter-finals, losing to Sergei Stakovsky. He then competed at the Indian Wells Masters, where he lost to Robin Haas in his opening match. After receiving a first-round bye, he next played the Miami Masters in Miami, losing to Adrian Manorino in straight sets in the third round. As defending champion, at the Monte Carlo Masters, Warinka lost to Grigor Dimitrov in the third round. He later lost in the third round at the Matua Madrid Open, again to Dimitrov, in the Rome Masters. Warinka reached the semi-finals before being defeated by Federer in straight sets. Warinka next competed in the French Open, as the eighth seed. He beat Marcel Ilhan and Dusan Lajovic in three and four sets, respectively, before beating Steve Johnson and Jill Simon in straight sets to reach the quarter-finals, and defeated compatriot Roger Federer in straight sets to reach his first Roland Garros semi-final. This was also Warinka's first win over Federer in a major tournament, winning in four sets against Joe Wilfried Songer in the semi-finals. He earned his second appearance in a Grand Slam final, this time against top seed Novak Djokovic. He defeated Djokovic in four sets, after being down a break in the fourth set, and 0-40 in a subsequent game. He broke Djokovic's service twice in the set, reeling off six of the final seven games of the match. With this victory, Warinka claimed his second Grand Slam tournament title and Djokovic failed to win a personal career Grand Slam. Warinka's French Open Championship also denied Djokovic the 2015 calendar year Grand Slam, as Djokovic won all other Grand Slam tournaments that year, mirroring his victory. At the 2014 Australian Open, Warinka was seeded eighth at this tournament, defeated the second and first seeds in the quarterfinals and finals, respectively clinched the championship match in four sets, and rose five positions in the ATP rankings. Back to the number four position, which was his original position at the beginning of the year. This was also the second time since Sergi Braguera. At the 1993 French Open that the champion defeated the world number one and world number two players in the same Grand Slam. 
Warinka is the first man to win Roland Garros after losing in the first round in the previous year, since Albert Costa in 2002, and the first former boys champion to win the men's title since Mats Wierlander in 1982. Warinka exited from Queen's Club as the Swiss bowed out of the Aegon Championships in the second round, against eventual runner-up Kevin Anderson. He reached the quarter-finals of Wimbledon, the furthest he had ever reached, matching his result from last year, but was ousted by Richard Gasquet in a five-set thriller. Despite being up two sets to one, Warinka continued his dominant Grand Slam form at the US Open with wins over Albert Ramos, Chung Ian, Ruben Bemelmans, Donald Young. He then beat South African Kevin Anderson Indiana straight sets in the quarterfinals to advance to the semifinals, where he was dispatched in straight sets by Roger Federer. Warinka then helped Switzerland advance to the Davis Cup World Group with a five-set win over Dutchman Timo de Bakker in Geneva. He then competed in the Rakuten Japan Open Tennis Championships, entering as the first seed. Warinka avenged his loss to Tatsuma Ito at the same tournament the previous year by defeating him in the second round. He eventually advanced to the finals, where he beat Benoit Paire in straight sets and won his fourth title of the season. Warinka then entered the Shanghai Rolex Masters where he defeated former U.S. Open champion Marin Cilic in a three-set battle before losing in straight sets to Rafael Nadal in the quarterfinals. Playing in the Paris Masters, Warinka avenged his previous loss to Rafael Nadal in Shanghai with a two-set victory. In the semifinals, Warinka lost to Novak Djokovic in a three-set match. He then matched his performance at the ATP World Tour Finals the previous year by reaching the semi-finals in London with round-robin wins over Andy Murray and David Ferrer. In the semi-finals, Warinka played Roger Federer for the fifth time in the 2015 season, losing in straight sets. 2016 US Open title Warinka started his season at the Chennai Open where he was the two-time defending champion and first seed. He started against young wildcard Andre Rublev. He won in straight sets. Then he played fifth seed Guillermo Garcia Lopez. He also won in straight sets. In the semi-final he played against third seed and good friend Benoit Paire. He won another straight sets match. In the final he played 8th seed and young talent Borna Korik. He successfully defended his title without dropping a set the entire tournament. He then played in the Australian Open where he was the 4th seed. He started against Dmitry Tursunov who was here on a protected ranking. Stan won the first two sets before Tursunov had to retire due to injury. He then played qualifier Radek Stepanek. He won in straight sets. He then proceeded to the third round where he played Lucas Rossell. He also won in straight sets. Then in the fourth round he played big serving Canadian and 13th seed Milos Raonic. Despite pushing it to a fifth set he was unable to overcome the Canadian and lost. It also snapped Warinka's streak of six consecutive quarter-finals, or better appearances in Grand Slams. Stan then played in the Open 13 as the first seed. He started against Sergei Stakovsky who had defeated him here last year. He won after saving a few match points. He then proceeded to the quarter-finals. He had a disappointing loss to good friend Benoit Paire. Warinka then played in the Dubai Tennis Championships as the second seed. He won against Sergei Stakovsky, qualifying Franco Skagor and Philip Kohlschreiber. In the semi-finals Nick Hurrios was forced to retire in set two. In the final he played surprise finalist Marcos Bagdatis and won in straight sets. He then played in the first Masters 1000 of the year at the Indian Wells Masters as the third seed. Warinka beat Ilya Marchenko and Andrei Kuznetsov but lost to 15th seed David Goffin in a third-set tie-break. 
At the Miami Open, Warinka lost in the first round to Andre Kuznetsov. Next up was the Monte Carlo Masters with wins against Philip Kohlschreiber and Jill Simon. He then suffered a two-set loss to the eventual champion, Rafael Nadal. Warinka then suffered another first-round exit at the Madrid Open to Nick Kurios. He then competed at the Rome Masters as the fourth seed. He had a three-set win against Benoit Paire, but then had a three-set loss to Juan Monaco, who was here with the protected ranking. At the Geneva Open, Warinka had two easy wins against Albert Ramos Vignolas and Pablo Carreno Busta, and a three-set victory over Lucas Rossell. In the final he played Marin Silic. He won his third title of the year with a tight straight sets win. His next tournament was the second major of the year, the French Open, as the third seed and the defending champion. Against Lucas Rossell, Warinka was down two sets to one, but came through in five sets. Wins over Taro Daniel, J.E. Acute R.E. Acute M.Y. Chardy and Victor Troitsky sent Warinka to the quarterfinals, where he dispatched Albert Ramos Vignolas in straight sets. In the semi-finals he played second seed Andy Murray. He lost in four sets. He then played at Queen's in the Aegon Championships as the second seed. However, he suffered a straight sets defeat to world number. 53 Fernando Verdasco in the first round. His next tournament was at the Wimbledon Championships. As the fourth seed, in the first round he faced Taylor Fritz and won in four sets. However, he was beaten in the second round by Juan Martin Del Potro on the comeback in four sets. After missing the Olympics due to a back injury, Warinka played at the Cincinnati Masters. However, he would lose to Grigor Dimitrov in two sets in the third round. Prior to the start of the US Open, Warinka returned to the top three in the ATP rankings due to Roger Federer being unable to defend his title in Cincinnati due to injury. In the first round he faced Fernando Verdasco, beating the Spaniard in straight sets. He then faced qualifier Alessandro Giannesi also winning in three sets. He then played a four-hour match in the third round against British player Daniel Evans, which saw Warinka save a match point in the fourth set tie-break, before beating Evans in five sets. He then defeated Ilya Marchenko in four sets in the fourth round. In his fourth consecutive quarter-final appearance at the US Open, he defeated Juan Martin Del Potro in four sets. He defeated Kei Nishikori in the semi-finals in four sets, and went on to defeat Novak Djokovic in four sets, to win the 2016 US Open, his third major title in as many years and his 11th consecutive win in a championship final. With this victory, Warinka improved his record to 2-0 in major finals against Djokovic, and 3-0 in overall major finals and he remained the only player to defeat Djokovic in Djokovic's eight Grand Slam finals dating back to the 2014 Wimbledon Championships. Much as Warinka's 2015 French Open victory denied Djokovic the 2015 calendar year Grand Slam. His win at this tournament denied Djokovic claiming three Grand Slam victories in successive years. It should also be noted that Warinka defeated the world number one player in the finals of all three of his Grand Slam titles. The 2016 US Open final was even more impressive as it was the only time in 2016 that Djokovic won the first set, but lost the match. He then entered St. Petersburg Open and reached the final, losing to rising teenager Alexander Zverev Jr. in three sets. This gifted Zverev his first ATP World Tour title and also snapped Warinka's streak of 11 consecutive finals won. Warinka did not achieve more notable results for the rest of the season, losing to Jill Simon in the third round of Shanghai Rolex Masters, Misha Zverev in the quarterfinals of Swiss Indoors, and Jan Leonard Struff in the second round of Paris Masters after holding match point.
Warinka then played his final tournament of the season at the ATP World Tour Finals, and for the first time failed to make to the semi-finals. Losing his first round Robern match in straight sets to Kei Nishikori, then beating Marin Silic in two tie breaks, and losing to world number one Andy Murray in straight sets. As a result of this and Milos Raonic reaching the semi finals, Raonic overtook Warinka as world number three at the conclusion of the tournament. Warinka would finish the season as world number four for the third straight year. Playing style Possessing one of the strongest one-handed backhands on tour, Warinka is characterized as a powerful offensive baseliner capable of playing well on most surfaces, especially on clay and hard courts. He is known for his fast serve which has reached as high as 232 km per hour. His forehand, considered a weakness early in his career, has improved significantly, and is now a big weapon in his game. While he is primarily known as a baseliner, Warinka has occasionally backed up his game with approaches to the net, and is capable of using the serve and volley tactic. In 2013, he began working with new coach Magnus Norman who was a former world number two and coach Robin Soderling to two consecutive French Open finals and a Masters title. This partnership has been credited with tremendous improvement in Warinka's overall game, who qualified for the ATP World Tour finals for the first time the same year, and ended the year in top ten for the first time. The following three years Warinka won at least one Grand Slam, qualified for Tour Finals, and ended the year in top five every season. Norman is also credited with improvement in Warinka's mental toughness, as seen in his performance in important matches and was evident in his victories over Andy Murray at the 2013 US Open, and Novak Djokovic at the 2014 Australian Open as well as his improved consistency, culminating in his win over world number one Rafael Nadal at the 2014 Australian Open in which War Rinka survived a fight back from Nadal to clinch the title. He also survived a fight back from world number one Novak Djokovic at the 2015 French Open final, being down one break of serve in the fourth set before breaking Djokovic's service twice to clinch the title. Despite his late career successes, Warinka has been mired with inconsistency throughout his career. Illustrative of this is his record against players ranked number one in the world. In Grand Slam finals he holds a 3-0 record against number one players, but is 1-20 in all other matches against world number one S with that single victory coming in the semi-finals of the 2017 French Open against Andy Murray. This combined with the 11 consecutive finals one has given Warinka the reputation of being a big match player. Furthermore, Warinka is only one of two players in the Open era to have won three Grand Slam singles titles, but never been ranked higher than number three, the other being Jan Codes. Djokovic vs. Warinka Warinka has a record against Novak Djokovic. However, the two have contested numerous close matches, and therefore it is considered a highly competitive rivalry since 2013, including four five-setters at Grand Slam level. Warinka defeated Djokovic at all three Grand Slam tournaments which he won, including two finals matches. Warinka and Djokovic played in three consecutive Australian Opens, with each match going to five sets, and a five-set match in the US Open, in the 2013 Australian Open fourth round, which Djokovic won 12-10 in a fifth set, at the 2013 US Open semi-finals which Djokovic won 6-4 in a fifth set, and at the 2014 Australian Open quarter-finals, which Warinka won 9-7 in a fifth set. Warinka's win in 2014 broke Djokovic's impressive run 
of 14 consecutive semi-finals in Grand Slam play, ended a 28-match winning streak and prevented Djokovic from capturing a record fifth Australian Open crown. Djokovic got revenge in the 2015 Australian Open, winning 6-0 in the fifth set. But again it went the distance. In the 2015 French Open final, Warinka defeated Djokovic in four sets to claim in his second Grand Slam title and is the only player apart from Roger Federer to defeat Djokovic in the Australian Open and the French Open. Most recently, Warinka defeated Djokovic in four sets to win the 2016 US Open singles title, thereby completing three quarters of the career Grand Slam. Contrary to most high-profile rivalries, they have played doubles together and maintain a close friendship. Despite Djokovic's 19-5 overall record against Warinka, Warinka leads Djokovic 2-0 in Grand Slam finals and 3-2 in all ATP finals. During Djokovic's run of eight appearances at Grand Slam finals from 2014 Wimbledon through the 2016 US Open, his only two losses came at the hands of Warinka. Moreover, in Djokovic's 21 Grand Slam championship matches, Warinka is the only opponent he has not defeated, and the only opponent outside the Big Four who has defeated him. Federer vs. Warinka Warinka and his compatriot Roger Federer have played each other 23 times with Warinka trailing. Federer leads 6-1 in Grand Slam tournaments, 15-0 onto hard courts, 1-0 on grass courts, and 4-3 on clay courts. While the rivalry is one-sided in Federer's favor, the two of them have contested some close matches such as the 2014 Monte Carlo Rolex Masters final in which Warinka came from behind a set to defeat Federer in three sets to win his first Masters. 1000 title, Warinka also defeated Federer in straight sets during the 2015 French Open quarterfinals en route to winning his first ever French Open title although Federer then reversed it with a straight sets victory in the 2015 US Open semi-finals. Federer defeated Warinka in five sets in the 2017 Australian Open semi-finals en route to his 18th major title. Other close matches include the 2012 Shanghai Masters and the 2013 Indian Wells Masters, both of which Federer won in three sets. The 2014 Wimbledon quarter-final which Federer won in four sets, and the 2014 ATP World Tour finals in which Federer won in three sets after saving four match points. Despite their on-court rivalry, they are both close friends off-court, and they have played doubles together on numerous occasions, most notably when they won the doubles Olympic gold at the 2008 Beijing Olympics and the 2014 Davis Cup. Murray vs. Warinka Warinka and Andy Murray have played 18 times with Warinka trailing. Murray leads 7-4 on hard courts and 2-0 on grass courts while Warinka leads 4-1 on clay courts. They have also met six times in Grand Slam tournaments and result is tied 3-3. They have contested some close matches and two of their most notable matches were in the 2009 Wimbledon fourth round which Murray won in five sets and was the first men's match to be played under the Wimbledon roof. Having the latest finish for a Wimbledon match at the time, and the 2017 French Open semi-final, where Warinka prevailed in a five-set thriller that lasted over four hours. Warinka also ended Murray's title defense at the 2013 US Open quarterfinals with a comfortable straight sets victory. Other close matches the two have contested include the 2010 US Open which Warinka won in four sets and was Murray's last defeat before a Grand Slam quarterfinal until the 2015 US Open, 
the 2008 Canada Open and 2011 Shanghai Masters, both of which Murray won in three sets. While Murray has led the majority of the rivalry, Warinka won their first two matches and beat Murray three consecutive times between 2013 and 2015, winning all of them in straight sets, until Murray ended the winning streak of the 2016 French Open, beating the defending champion Warinka in four sets. Their most recent match was played in the semi-final of the 2017 French Open, which Warinka won in five sets. Due to this match-up, and since both players each have three Grand Slam titles, Warinka has been identified by some, including Djokovic, as a potential contender to turn the Big Four tennis quartet into a Big Five. Although Warinka himself has downplayed those suggestions, stating that he is still far behind them. Nadal vs. Warinka Warinka has a record against Rafael Nadal. Although this rivalry has less significance than rivalries with the other members of the Big Four, the pair have met in several prestigious tourneys. The rivalry saw Nadal winning the first 12 encounters, all in straight sets, including two finals, one of which is a Masters 1000 final at Madrid in 2013. However, since Warinka's breakthrough season in 2013 the pair has won an equal number of matches against each other from 2014 onward. Warinka scored his first win against Nadal in their most important encounter, the 2014 Australian Open final in four sets, denying Nadal's double career slam. It is also the only match between the pair not resulting in a straight set win for either player personal life. Warinka was born in Switzerland to a German father and Swiss mother. He holds dual Swiss-German citizenship. His father Wolfram Warinka, a farmer and social worker, is German of Czech ancestry. Warinka's paternal great-grandfather originated from Silesia, the border region between Poland and the former Czechoslovakia. Warinka's mother, Isabel, an educator, is Swiss. His mother works as a biodynamic farmer helping disabled people and took over the running of his parents' farm, Firm du Chateau, near Lausanne, which is connected with the castle of St. Barthélemy. The farm assists people with mild to moderate intellectual disabilities and people with depression or drug and alcohol problems. Here Stan Eilers grew up with his elder brother, Jonathan, and his two younger sisters, Janare and N.A.E. Acute L.L.A., who are students and tennis players. Stan Eilers attended the Rudolf Steiner School in Crissier. As of 2009, Warinka lived in St. Barthélemy, about north of Lausanne, with his wife Willem Vallaud, a Swiss television presenter and former fashion model. They married on 15 December 2009. Balaud gave birth to the couple's child, a girl named Alexia, on 12 February 2010. On 4 January 2011, Swiss media reported that Warinka separated from the family less than one year after his daughter's birth. The couple later reconciled. But on 19 April 2015 Warinka posted a statement on his Facebook page announcing their divorce. Warinka's wife suggested he had repeatedly lied and was unstable. Warinka appeared in the 2015 ESPN Body Issue, posing nude in athletic poses. Warinka has a tattoo on his left forearm in italic script that quotes the Irish writer Samuel Beckett in English, ever tried ever failed, no matter, try again, fail again, fail better. On his right arm, he has his daughter's name. He is a self-proclaimed big fan of the Lausanne HC, his hometown ice hockey team. Warinka is now dating fellow tennis player Donna Vekic. Commercial endorsements Warinka's corporate sponsors have included Visalab, from Yonix, Subaru, Audi, 
and order Mars P. Gay. As of June 2016, Warinka wears Yonix clothing and shoes and uses the Yonix V-Core 95D racket with the Yonix V-Core Dual G paint job, formerly playing with the Yonix V-Core Tour 97 paint job. Warinka has been known to use Barbolar RPM Blast as his string of choice, opting to string his rackets at 27 kg in the main strings and 25 kg in the cross strings. Previously, he used head tennis rackets. First the Flexpoint Prestige Mid Plus and Micro Gel Prestige Pro, and then the YOUTEK Prestige Pro Mid Plus. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.